Hello, thanks for joining us for this afternoon's webinar where we're going to be talking about Cloud PBX and the exciting feature release of Teams integration. My name is Oliver Lofthouse, I'm the Sales Director here at Chess um, and I'm, I'm here and joined today by Martin Bacon. So Mar Martin, welcome. Hi there. Great. Would you like to just um, introduce yourself to the partners and tell sure. them what you do in the business? Please? Absolutely. Yep. My name's Martin Bacon. So I've been with Chess for just over five years now. My role is Cloud Voice Specialist. So I assist our partners in the technical elements around the, the more larger and strategic deals that they may be working on, so the form of design and also doing full-blown demonstrations for their customers and providing the necessary advice to make sure they get it right first time. Perfect, perfect. Well, as you probably all know, Microsoft Teams is fast becoming the collaboration tool of choice, I think, for all sorts of businesses, whether they're small or large. Um, and therefore, I think it's a really exciting time to be able to offer a Cloud PBX integration. Um, and over the next sort of 10 minutes, what we're going to talk you through is sort of the core features and benefits of our Cloud PBX solution. Um, what that means in the integration of Teams and what functionality that brings with it. And we're also going to get a demo from Martin as well, so you can see actually how it, how it works out live. Okay, so um, Martin, um, clearly cloud is becoming a much more familiar term within customer speak, within partners. And, you know, with ISDN end of life on the horizon, I think customers now are starting to look at cloud a lot more seriously. You know, they want the cost savings, they want the dynamic feature releases and all of the benefits that can give us. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about the, co the core features and benefits of our own cloud PBX solution, please. Sure, well, you hit the nail right on the head there, number one, it's not ISDN, so it's cloud, which gets you out of a really tricky situation. So the key things that we have going on, uh, Everyone knows roughly what a cloud system is, but we've got a few tweaks that really just that helps differentiate us. So we can look at the mobility side of things. So we've got WebRTC enabled soft phone mobile app, which means it's using the latest technology to be able to enable people to work from anywhere with anything. So that flexibility there, you can choose to use a physical phone device. Yeah. You could choose to use your laptop or Mac with a soft phone. You could even choose to use your mobile with an app installed that would work exactly as the same as your phone in the office would. But then of course, we've got the Teams piece as well, which is really exciting and where everything's going. Cool. So, you know, businesses need a solution that makes them accessible from anywhere, effectively. Um, so how does Cloud PBX specifically help them to do that? And also how scalable is it for businesses that are growing, that are consolidating? How, do, how does that work? Sure. Well, the scalability thing really works on two sides as well, because not only do we have to think about the customer, we also have to think about our partners and how they can scale this. Because not only do we have those benefits for customers, benefits for partners in terms of the amount of ROI they can get from this solution. So there's extra revenues to be made by putting these in. They can grow their business. They're removing the cap something You might, as, as a partner, go into a meeting and you're both selling the same product. Yeah. And sometimes you're, you're sort of just reducing your price. This one's reducing their price by having this in their kit bag. They've also got something else to take to market which differentiates them, which really helps. The wide range of kit and stuff we've got going on there is really good and it really helps to be able to flexibly choose customers that might have kit that can work straight out of out of the box that they've already got or need to get new kit to go in there. Brilliant. Okay, so we've talked about customer benefits, um, but clearly there is a partner in this value chain as well. So, you know, what can Cloud PBX offer for a partner? Sure. So a lot of partners are already doing some form of Cloud PBX solution at the moment, and a lot of them tend to use the same old people that are out there. I won't name any names, but we know roughly who they are. And the solution when we decided to pick what we wanted to go to market with had to be different. It had to differentiate itself from the other products that were out there in the market. And it does that in some really clever ways by incorporating a lot of the services that others may charge for as part of our licensing. So we're not, we haven't got a lot of additional charges to go on top of our standard out of the box licensing piece. Where we've really got some technical flexibility as well is the ability to utilize a much wider range of physical handsets. So from the likes of Yealink, Polycom, Snom, Panasonic, Gigaset, I could go on for you more, mm. but also where you might have those unique situations. And depending on your customer, as a partner, you're sometimes limited in terms of what you can do with a cloud voice solution. We're managing to break down a lot of those barriers. Um, a good example is uh, we've got customers in the States who needed to do emergency services dialing, who've also got offices in the UK. Yeah. We can do clever stuff in the back end, which not a lot of other systems can do, 
which enables our partners to win those deals and, and really be able to drive that value for their customers. Brilliant, okay, so it's highly configurable and actually really adds value in a number of different ways for, for customers depending on the feature set. That Absolutely. They Brilliant. Okay, so, you know, businesses, presence is I think the buzzword in, mm. in the industry at the moment about being accessible anywhere and um, being present and, and able to make contact with people in back in the office or customers or partners. Um, so how does our cloud PBX solution do that? And just talk about how scalable it is because, you know, business Businesses are growing, consolidating, changing locations. How does that all work? Sure. Well, one of the key benefits of the cloud is that it's literally plug and play. You can take your phone home if you wanted to and plug it in and you can work from there. So bringing those flexible options around work from anywhere is absolutely there, whether you use a physical handset, PC or Mac, for example, or indeed mobile device, is that you've got the capability to work from any device, from any location. The key things about the, the mobile app, for example, is that in the event I haven't got any data connection, it can actually route the call over my mobile phone number. So I'm never going to miss that call. Mm. And it's great for road warriors, salespeople that are out there, and they can just constantly make and take calls, integrate with your car and your Bluetooth and everything. So it's all got it there. Scale-wise, I mean, the smallest customer I think I've seen on this is one user, right. which yeah. is fine. The largest, you can go up to 240,000 people right. on this system. So it's got pure amounts of scale and it's easy to do as well. It's, it's all configured through the admin portal. You can add users, flexibly change them and incorporate various devices that they may want to use, all from one simple area. Perfect. Good, good, good. So, and how easy is it to set up? You know, so customer takes takes a, an order of um, our cloud PBX solution. How easy is it for them to get it up and running and, and working? Sure. So, of course, going through our free of charge technical and sales accreditation, which we, we make sure everyone does. Once you've done that, it enables them to get into their demo account. And, and there's nothing better than with these solutions is actually getting your hands on something. And you'll find that a lot of people that are wanting to adapt themselves technically into this area will find, let me try this first and, and read the document documentation at the same time rather than going through a full list of videos yeah. and once they've got their heads around that I find initially we get a few calls but then it drops off because once you've got that momentum going they just run with it it's really yeah. easy quite intuitive absolutely intuitive. Yeah, yeah perfect good so you know I'm familiar with using Microsoft Teams and um, I'm sure many of the partners use it within their own businesses so this is the killer question mm. so what is it that Microsoft Teams integration and our cloud PBX together what does that bring what's the point of difference sure so we Ours is slightly different. Um, Microsoft have got a few options that we can do in relation to the Teams voice product. So you've got the Microsoft native product, which is where you're taking Microsoft phone system, or your yep. phone systems configured within the Microsoft 365 admin portal, using Microsoft calling plans to make and receive calls. That's sort of option one. Option two is Microsoft enabled um, what they call direct routing. And this is where you could effectively plug in your own SBC or session border controller with SIP trunks on the back of it into there and you'd route all your calls through that, still using the Microsoft product to configure your queues, your call groups and stuff from there. What we've got is something slightly different. So imagine you've still got your Cloud PBX platform with us, all your queues and groups and everything's configured through that. But you've got a capability within the licensing to utilize up to nine devices per person. So all of it, here's your handset, here's your soft phone, here's your mobile app, but actually your Teams client can actually just be a phone as well. So again, you're not routing your calls through all of the Microsoft backend wizardry stuff, which is it's quite convoluted in many respects because it's still quite new and it's being honed. You're still using all of the Cloud PBX backend platform to configure your queues, your groups, time controls, all of those things. You're just giving your user ticker box for the Teams client to be able to make and receive calls through Teams. Yeah. And that works through the desktop app and also the mobile app as well. Yeah. And it's really slick. Yeah, and, and if I was using Microsoft Teams, I'd have to have a voice element within that, and therefore, because I've got Cloud PBX, that goes across all my devices and is therefore one license and one cost to me. Yes, yeah, so it's really simple in terms of the licensing element as well. So there's a very small charge cost from us to our partner per user, but then there's the Microsoft phone system license that needs to be added per user as well. So the real flexible piece where this brings to the table is that using the traditional routes, you have to license everyone yeah. to be able to do that. With this, you can pick and choose. Yeah. So you might not want someone working in a warehouse to be able to use Microsoft Teams because they might need a ruggedized phone and that sort of thing. But salespeople, office-based people, they can do that. So you've got that full flexible option. Yeah, okay, perfect. Good, okay, so I think it's about time we, we saw a bit about So we show you how it works. Yeah, let's absolutely do Excellent. that. Excellent, let's Excellent. get that going. Cheers.
So this is your Teams client. So many people might be familiar with this who may have used Teams already, but uh, this is my call section here, if you look on the left taskbar within Microsoft Teams. One thing you might notice if you've not seen anything in relation to any telephony integration before is here, my number. So this is actually showing my DDI number. So this is my DDI number, which is on the Cloud PBX platform. And if I've made or received a call from this phone, from my desk phone, from my mobile app, or from my soft phone, that is the number that's presented. So any calls coming in to my DDI, or indeed any queued calls, groups, or whatever like I, I may be a, a member of, for example, will ring whatever I decide I want it to. So other things you might notice here, I've got speed dials configured for various people within the business. I can click them if I want to call them. I've also got some people's mobile numbers in my speed dial as well. I've got a favorite section within Teams. These are people I speak to re regularly, um, and we can see the wholesale team there. Uh, so this is my dial pad. That's what I can use for, for calling. Contacts-wise, we've got the capability to not only see who I regularly speak to within Teams, but also all of my Outlook contacts with their phone numbers listed here. So if you're making regular calls to people within who are in your Outlook address book, all you need to do is jump into here, search them, find a contact, hit hit the number there and it will automatically dial them out of Teams. You can also add contacts here as well through Teams, which will populate them back into your Outlook um, people uh, section for your contacts. History, so this will show me all of my necessary Teams calls as well as direct dials or, or inbound calls that may have come to my phone or my Teams client. One good thing that we've got is the ability to utilize extension number dialing. So one of the small failings that the Microsoft solution has is that if you're dialing internal people, you have to find them by name, by a speed dial, or through a favorite. With this, because we're using the Cloud PBX in the back end, everyone has an extension number. So if I wanted to phone this person, 2170, I can just type in 2170 within this Teams client and it will get to them. Whereas traditionally, with just the Microsoft product, you'd have to type in the name to find them that way. Voicemail, so this is an option that you can utilize and it really does depend on how that particular customer may want to be configured. So you could use Teams voicemail here, but what you actually get the capability of is not only seeing who it's from, duration, etc., and date, uh, but if I select that, I also get a transcription here of, of exactly what they're trying to say. So this is a new feature that's just been implemented and so it's coming in really, really early. Uh, some of it isn't that great, so I've, I've got one here, Monster High Switch, come here. I have no idea who that is or what that is, but it just enables you to have that capability. So the other thing which is really good about the voicemail section is you can actually get them delivered to you via email as well. So you'd get the WAV file attachment directly to your inbox as well as a transcription within the body of the email. And of course you can forward those on, you can send them out, you could store them, archive them, whatever you wanted to do. So a nice simple voicemail management system. But let's actually get a call going and, and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna call myself on my mobile. So, and we just hit enter. So we type it in, does its initial Teams piece first. So it's referencing me my address book. And then it will push the call through. So it can see, here is Martin Bacon calling. I'm calling myself and we're now using Teams to call. So it's really easy, it's using my microphone and speakers. Of course, if I had a headset by the USB or Bluetooth working on this, it would be really easy to then just have a private conversation. But once you're in a call, you've got all your necessary call control functions here that you'd expect, such as hold, transfer, consult, then transfer. So you can send that around to other people in the business and do that there. What you can also do is invite people into these calls. So we can see there's currently these two people, but I could dial a number here to bring someone else into a, an ad hoc conference call, or indeed if they're in my address book, I could bring them in as well. So really simple to do, and, and functions are all built in. So not only what you see here is, is available, but that's also available within the mobile client as well. So you've, you've got all of these means to be able to make and receive calls anywhere you are. Brilliant, thanks for that demo, Martin. I think it's really good to see it as well as hear about it and under, understand it. One of the things that I was reflecting on as I was listening to that demo was around disaster recovery. So I'm thinking that people with established systems, you know, one of the things this might offer is a good disaster recovery plan. So how might that work for a customer? Sure, and it's a question we get a lot because both systems have got certain capabilities within them. So let me put a scenario together for you in, in, in real simple terms. Imagine you've got your phone numbers hosted within an NGN sort of routing yep. application. You've got the Cloud PBX platform here where your numbers can route to, but you've also, with the Teams integration, you've got the Microsoft phone system here. So imagine you could have phone numbers on this, phone numbers on this, queues and groups set up on both, because there's no additional cost to do that here on the Teams piece. Yeah. 
routing your numbers to this, which then are being answered in Teams, but in the event of an issue here, route the numbers to there, and, and you've got it, it's that simple. Yeah. But of course, we can talk our partners through how to work out those situations and make them as, as best and, and simplified as possible. And it, I suppose, you know, cost is a big thing. So when, you know, if you think about traditional disaster recovery, you're talking about separate lines, separate equipment. So actually this becomes a really cheap and simple way to yeah. create a contingency. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. Right, I think you've sold me. I, I want it now. Well, I have Sign got up. it already. <laughs> yeah. But just for partners out there, so, you know, when they're talking to customers and uh, how do they now find out a bit more about it? They found out cost, implementation, timings how does that all work sure uh, so key points go to the vdms uh, i work with them extensively on the products and, and all the features and benefits and they've got all the stuff that our partners will need and and i've got a wealth of information brilliant okay good well thanks for joining me today You're welcome Martin. it's been a pleasure um, i think it's been really insightful so for me um you know teams integration is a really important feature um, for our Cloud PBX offering. And I think the growth that we're seeing through Microsoft Teams just out there in the in the telecoms market and in, in customer premises is just amazing. And being able to link on the back of that, I think is really gonna help us get some traction and, and development with our product. So as Martin said, please contact your BDMs or your sales contact for more information. Um, but I hope this has been useful and really helped you to understand how you can portray to customers the benefits they can get from this Microsoft Teams integration. Thanks for joining.